Hello, this is Matthew from Beardsworth Nurseries. If you'd like to watch more videos like this one, you can find them on our blog at mrbeardsworth.com. I'll put some links at the end of the video. Today, Phil here is going to demonstrate grafting an apple tree with the cleft graft. This is an ideal graft for a beginner at home. You don't need a special grafting knife, a Stanley knife is fine, or a sharp kitchen knife. Firstly, the basics. This is your rootstock. This is what's going to provide the roots for the final tree. In this case, it's an MM106 semi-dwarfing rootstock. Now, if you can't get dwarfing rootstocks for apples, you can use Malus sylvestris or crabapple. But do bear in mind that the tree will eventually get quite large. Next, we have the cyan. Cyan is just a fancy word for the piece of tree that we're trying to produce. In this case, Lord Derby. The piece of cyan wants to be about four to six inches long with two to three buds along its length. And it needs to be of the previous year's growth. So from the tip of the branch down to the growth ring from the previous year is where you get the cyan wood from. You can use older wood, but your take won't be as good and your tree won't be as vigorous the following year. Now we're going to graft the cyan and the rootstock together using a cleft graft. You begin by pushing your knife down the rootstock to split it in two to around about an inch, inch and a half deep. Next we're going to cut the cyan into a wedge shape. Make sure you've got your cyan the right way up with the buds pointing upwards and cut the wedge of a similar length to the slice you've made in the rootstock, so about one and a half inches. And try to make your slices as smooth as possible so that we get a good union between the slice in the rootstock and the wedge of the cyan. Next, push the cyan down into the slice that you made in the rootstock. Just check that both sides match reasonably well. If you've got a cavity, have another go at cutting the wedge on your cyan. Next, you need to just adjust how deep you've pushed the cyan wood into the rootstock. You need to leave a little church window shape showing above like here. This is very important. Without this, you won't get a good union between the cyan and the rootstock. Next, we need to bind the graft. Here we're using parafilm, which is a pro professional product. You can also use masking tape, or you can use electrician's tape, anything that'll pull the graft in tightly. But if you're going to use a plastic tape, bear in mind that you will need to cut it off at around about the middle of May. Otherwise, it'll strangle the tree. Finally, you need to seal the moisture inside the cyan whilst it makes its union with the rootstock. We use PVA glue that's been watered down by about half with water. You can also use grafting wax and other products, but bear in mind you cannot use candle wax. It melts at too high a temperature and it'll damage the buds of your cyan. And that is how to graft a tree using the cleft graft. It's a nice, easy graft, if a little slow, but it gives good results every time even to the novice. Here are a few rootstock and cyan combinations of easy trees to graft. Malus sylvestris, the apple trees, or pear varieties, Gonpyrus communis, and then the flowering cherries, Japanese flowering cherries, going to Prunus avium, and then the Sorbs occuparia, the Rowan, for the mountain ash varieties. I've been Matthew from Beardsworth Nurseries and I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you've got any questions, you leave a comment on the blog at mrbeardsworth.com and I'll get back to you. Thank you very much.